again I would like to start with my second video which is a very basic earring we're going to make and we're going to do just a shape in one color and then we're going to decorate it so we're going to kind of make this up as we go along I'm going to take some yellow what you can do is if you don't have a pasta roller and you want to keep everything in the same thickness then you just use some popsicle sticks to make a nice even thickness put down your clay just give it a good roll using your popsicle sticks as a guide and just make sure that you push down nicely in the middle so that it's even. What you can find sometimes is when you're rolling out your clay, you may get what looks like bubbles. So what I do is I just pick it up and just give it a bit of a stretch. Not too much, but just so that if there are any bubbles in it, it stretches it out. And put it back down. Now, as I explained before, your kit, you can either have a round circular cutter or you can have a teardrop so I've decided today we'll do a couple of teardrops so make sure that your clay is big enough that you can do two of each pop it in and give it a good push down and the second one pop it in and a good push down as well then with your stud side we're going to actually do four. I'll show you why shortly. Okay. Lift that up and put that elsewhere. Now you'll see when you cut that you're going to have little edges at the bottom where your cutter was. So you can use your tool. Just to clean it up a little bit. So there's two ways to do it. You either do it before you bake it, or after you bake it, you can take um, an emery board and just sand it down. You just want to even make it nice and neat. I'm trying to do this really fast. So it's not going to be perfect because I'm doing it really fast. Okay, so you get the idea. Then take your toothpick and make a little hole. So what you want to do is you want to center it nicely and not too close to the edge. Because if you do it too close to the edge, there's a chance that after you've baked it, hopefully it won't happen, but if you go too close to the edge it's going to be too thin and there's a chance that it can actually crack or snap then this is your stud make a little hole in two of them okay and then you're going to put a finder eventually when it's baked from this one to this one so that it's nice hanging earring right Next, what we're going to do is we can actually get rid of these little studs so we've got some more space. Put that on one side. And put that on one side. Right. So now you've got your two little bases. So what we can do is, let's say we want to do like a little, little hearts, let's say, for just for something fun and different. So you take a little ball and then cut it in half. Roll them back into little balls again. And then of course we want to do the same on the other side. Cut them in half. And roll them into little balls again. So remember everything you're going to do for this one you have to do for that one again. 
and then what I'm going to do is push them together like that and then just using your fingertips squeeze the edge into a hard shape and then just push it down so you've got a nice little hard shape squeeze it together squeeze the bottom and a little hard shape if you need to fix it up a little bit you take your toothpick and there's your cute little heart okay scoop that up with your knife and let's put it on here there's one on the opposite side so that's quite cute you'll see there's still a little bit of a seam in here so I'm just gonna scrape it out Okay, so there's our little heart. Now I'm thinking, make it look like a little heart flower. So take some brown. And you have to remember, you don't need very much clay for the decorating because it's very, very small. And the details you do are, oops, are quite tiny as well. Just gotta roll this up nice and skinny. your two little stems I'm just going to put it on softly don't make don't push it down yet until you decide what direction you want to put it in so I'm going to make it go a little bit ziggy zaggy Sure that it touches the heart. And they don't have to be identical so long as they look the same, so that they are a pair but they're not exactly identical. And now we want to do a little leaf. Make off some green. And then just use your knife to cut off some little small pieces. Again, it doesn't have to be exact because it's supposed to be like a natural leaf. So just roll them into little circles or little rounds, balls. Aye. Okay, squeeze them down and again just make them into a little leaf shape. So I just make the one side of it sharp and the other side stays round. Oh, that was a bit big. Okay. Pick it up with your knife. And plonk him down. Oopsie, squished that one, so I have to do that one over. Now you want to take your toothpick and just do a little veins going on here. You can basically just leave it like that if you want to. What I want to do is, I'm not going to do the next one because it's obviously much of the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you quickly how to embed your stud. If you have UV resin, you can do it with UV resin. Or if you have um, oh, a nice strong glue, you can do that too. But I personally 
prefer to do it like this. So what you do is you're going to take your stud, you're going to pop it into your the base, and then this is going to come behind it. So you're going to just squeeze it on and just make sure that it's nicely attached. down nicely okay we made the hole we don't really need to we shouldn't have made the hole so early but anyway we can just fix that okay so now it's completely out of shape so you take your little cutter again cut it pick it up and this stud is not going to come off for anything so it's nicely secured so if you want to get into selling your jewelry one day, the worst thing is if somebody comes, buys your jewelry and then the stud falls off. So the whole piece is gone. So this way, it's one piece. There's no joins. There's no glue, nothing like that at all. And there we have your first pair of earrings. We'll try something new next time. Thanks for joining me.